So this is my VW T4, it's a 2000 and me and my wife have been hand painting this. As you can see it's nearly done. Got the wing mirrors I still need to put back on and the roof hasn't been done at all. That's going a completely different colour. But there's a few bits like this. Don't know if it was sharp on camera too well. Yeah, well, it needs to be sanded back. It got it rained a little bit yesterday, so I need to redo that. And there's a little bit patchy here and there. But it's actually come out extremely well. Very pleased with it. So I didn't actually film. Hi. I didn't actually film any, which was a bit of a shame. I'm sure I'll be chucking pictures up here, there and everywhere, so you can see. Hopefully that's a better view. Yeah, you can see the original colour. So, very pleased with how this actually come out. Need to get rid of all the sticky as well. I will eventually. Still a few bits to do, a few touch up areas, but very pleased. So I will be chucking pictures up so you can kind of see if I did picture it. But all I done is went over the whole van trying to find any dents, scratches. There was a big scratch down here. In fact, you can kind of still see it. Sort of all around. Yeah, you can just see it there, look. See the scratch, but that was that was really badly dented. There was a big dent on the sliding door. Um, a couple bits on the rear door, and as you probably can see, there's no rear windscreen wiper. They used to be around, around here somewhere on both sides, and I filled them holes. Went round, filled everything else. There was a nice little, I don't think I got a picture of this, but just below the door handle, along this crease, you can see a little bit of the filler work in there for getting the right light. But that used to be right indented in, right in that crease, and I managed to pull it back out. So I went over, filled everything. So here's all the stuff I used. I've got some body filler, just from Halfords, just any old body filler. This stuff worked quite well if you are wanting to use this. I was happy with it. And I got my sandpaper few different ones so what i did is i sanded down used a 60 grit sand down to put the body filler on done that is until you're happy and then use my 60 grit made sure that the sandpaper sorry made sure that the filler room was as flat as i could get it then i used 400 grit but i have actually used up all my 400 grit to get it a little bit smoother then went over the whole van including the bits you've sand with the 800 grit Go over the whole van, everything, give it a good key. Then use your scotch bright. Go over um, the whole van with your scotch bright, give it a good key. Then it's time for your first coat. Go over the whole van. Don't don't do it too thick. Don't uh, don't expect too much from it. It will be patchy. There's a paint I used. Hammerite garage door smooth red. Then we went over with the 2000 grit wet and dry. And that's where we are right now. But just an old crappy jug for measuring because it was a four part paint to one part. Oh, that's anything I've missed. Is uh, your white spirit. Four, four part paint to white part, one part white spirit. And then just a three inch roller. And a little paintbrush we cutting in. So just so just in case, thought I'd do a little sit down. Add this in if needed, but I have hand painted my van with hammerite paint and some rollers. Me and my wife have done it. In fact, so have my kids. It's a very easy process. It is a bit daunting, but definitely doable. Very pleased with how it's come out. Got another coat I would like to do, but 
I'm very happy of how it is so far. All I done is I went round the van first with um, some filler. I went round, sanded the area first, 60 grip uh, sandpaper, sanded everywhere, then fill it everywhere that I wanted to filler. I have done a rear windscreen wiper delete, so I had to fill out those areas, cover the dents in the door, big scratch along the door, a few bits and bobs like that. Then once you're happy with, once you've done your filler, sand it down, I use 60 grit to sand down the filler. Go across the whole van with um, 400 grit wet and dry. Went over the whole van, every inch of it, try and made it nice and smooth. And I believe we went over it again with some... 800 grit, I might be wrong, that's wet and dry again. Then get a scotch bright pad, scotch bright the whole van. Every inch that you're gonna paint, scotch bright it, give a good key, good scratch up so there's a good surface for paint to stick to. And then uh, go across with some methylated spirit, some sort of degreaser, something that you can get all the crap off so you've got a nice clean surface to work with. And then uh, off you go with the paint then. Get yourself a jug, get your paint you require, your rollers. We used a three inch, is what we were recommended, a three inch foam roller. Um, by then, I think it's like seven quid, you get a rolling handle with about four rolling pads. Um, and then it's a four to one ratio, four parts paint to one part white spirit. So get a little measuring jug, it's easy to do. 200, do, do small quantities, don't want to overwhelm yourself too quick. 200 millilitres of paint to 50 millilitres of white spirits. Give it a good mix up for a minute or two and off you go. Roll her away. Don't worry, it's going to be patchy. You don't want to put it on too thick because it will orange peel and look horrible. Just put a nice thin coat over the whole van and leave it for about a week. Leave it longer if you can, especially if the weather's not nice. This time of year, in fact today's not a good example, this time of year is not too bad because it's nice and warm. Give it about a week and then sand it back. Give it a nice, we use 2000 grit wet and dry. Went over the whole van, sanded everything back. We had a load of bugs in ours, sand them out. If you've got any orange peel, sand that out as well. And then second coat. Go over the van, put it on a little bit thicker, but don't go on too thick. Go over the whole van, give it a nice good cover. And that's where we're sat now. Really pleased with how it is. It's a few bits like the front, um, bit in between the grills that needs to be done again uh, wing mirrors and the rear bumper need a second coat but the rest of the vans had a second coat once it's dry we only did it yesterday once it's dried gonna go over the whole van again with I'm thinking maybe 800 grit because there's a few bits as you've probably seen the a bit of water got on and it's left like bubblies all over and there's a lot of orange peel so i'll probably do that with 800 and then the whole van with 2000 wet and dry and then it'll be third coat time and i reckon third coat will be the last coat for us i do know some people do six seven eight coats depends on how it sits and what sort of finish you want and then it'll be the time to get on with the roof want to do the grills and the outer part of the wing mirrors and we're going to be doing them cream, so that should be fun. But it's quite easy to be fair, it's, it's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, just very daunting, scratching up your van and painting it with a roller, but I highly recommend that. Anyway, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If you like what I do, hit that thumbs up button, and uh, please press that subscribe button for more uh, VW Antics. Anyway, thank you for watching. 